How the fuck are ya, you pus-filled cock pockets? Galactic criminal here, and today we got ourselves that new coming from the boys in mental cruelty. I remember these guys, man, almost like it was yesterday, first time reacting to them back in 2018 with their song Mundus Volt Tissippi. And when I tell you these guys are heavy, I mean these guys are heavy. The vocalist, man, has got the fucking the, the tone, the, the timbre, the cadence that I just love in the lows. Now I've been seeing this thing get teased on the social medias for like a couple of weeks, two or three weeks now. So I am very much excited to dig in and see what we get. Mental cruelty. Ultima hypocrita with one.
fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can we say track of the year contender? I think, I think so. I think, I certainly think so. Oh my God. I have thoughts. I'm serious. Track of the year contender. That was mind blowing. I love the direction that Deathcore is taking, and this band taking this direction, I did not see this coming at all. Most of what I've heard from them is like straight up just brutal Deathcore, man. And this was different. The composition, the use of like choir almost sounding in the highlighting in some of the uh, the, the vocal moments in this was just absolutely brilliant, dude. The, the, the slow sort of like, Hold, I guess open to this thing was just setting the atmosphere so well as well as the music video itself kind of telling the story as it's going along there very nice very nice to look at style of music video I enjoyed that very much so a production in and of itself man but just wow just the brutal 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 nature of the drums in this was one definitely standout feature but there were several standout features obviously the vocals like i said before this guy is a most certainly a talent the vocal style that first the first time that i heard it i was already sold that kind of really is mostly it for me a band can sound just like generically like any other deathcore band but if they've got a nice a special and the nice vocalist you, you can you can sell me on pretty much any fucking band, I'm telling you, dude. And the, just, again, the drums were brilliant, and then the guitar solo. This thing coming in at almost seven minutes long. I was hoping there would be something along those lines. Uh, when it started, I felt like, okay, it's like a cinematic thing. There'll be some, like, maybe just instrumental style, of, uh, style breaks in this thing. I didn't realize the instrumental break was obviously like the beginning chunk was a nice uh, was a nice open but then there's just this big long lengthy just going for it style of solo that just blew my fucking mind it just kept going and i wanted it to keep going after it was done it was just it was so sick and melodic and just matched so well to like the rhythm and the the tone and the melody of the rest of the song and to, to the drums and everything it was just it was such a nice such a nice thing to have in the middle of a deathcore song. I mean, I've heard lots of deathcore bands where they really throw like some licky solos and stuff like that into into their stuff, but never one this like length this lengthy. This was like a mellow death style solo almost. I'm into it. This was like like I said, like deathcore meets mellow death was this song to me. Vocals are so good, man, and he's one of those guys that uses the kind of jumbly style of vocal to. To its like to, to the nth degree, to, to the best way possible. Not not overusing it, using it to highlight in certain moments the sort of chaos and anger and rage going through a band. Just so good. Using it like an instrument. I like that. I like it a lot. This was really, really good. I guess this actually uh, featured guitarist. Was it from Rings of Saturn? So that would make sense as to that uh, that guitar solo. Uh, yeah, man. That was really, really good. That was really good. The hype is most certainly real. I was, I've been, like I said, I've been excited for this thing for like weeks, seeing it get teased by uh, by a unique leader in them, in the band as well. It's just, yeah. I'm excited for more. I'm excited for more. What are the rest of you fuckers thinking this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there will be a link in the description for this video, so you better watch it for yourself, full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself, a fantastic evening.